Hey up, I'm not on them last and today I am at somewhere quite unusual. Not in the Peak District, but in Staffordshire. And we are at the Fold Explosion. Quite a big story today, guys, so keep watching. So just before I start this video about car parking, you can park at the Cock Inn behind me or the road opposite. If you want to park there, you've got to go and get a drink after I've read on the internet. So do what you want, but it's great parking. And from the Cock Inn, Go down the road, on the left there'll be a gate. Let's go through the gate and see what we can find. To the crater. Let's go. So it's a lovely fresh day today. There's no rain, which I'm really, really thankful for because weather forecasted to say rain. So we're very lucky today. And I can get the drone out, it'll be great. Obviously you can't see it without a drone. So yeah, keep watching. Loose livestock. So we're going to go for a field. As you can imagine, very, very muddy, so wear the appropriate footwear. Okay, so I've nearly fallen over once today. So yeah, very, very muddy. But it's fine, it's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah? <laughs> Just go across that field with the sheep in it and you'll come to like a really, really hidden style on the left and then we go for another style. And apparently just asked someone and she said that she couldn't find it. But luckily we have the drone, we do. So just currently walking through loads of fields, very, very muddy fields. Make sure to go and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. Every little helps. <laughs> We're currently looking for the actual uh, fences with a memorial. Hopefully you can find it. Okay, it's very, very muddy. Bear with me. So I'm guessing it's just through this gate and there should be some signs, hopefully memorial, but let's have a look. I'm quite happy today, we've been on the right track. Uh, it's very, very messy. Okay, I think we're approaching the right place, which is great. Read the map right for a change. Ask someone to help as well. Let's go. We have now approached the first danger sign. This is really, really interesting, guys. I can't wait to tell you some, a few facts with some drone footage, but let's have a little walk around. Obviously can't go past this fence. Very bad, but yeah, let's go. So I don't really understand how they like knew to put the fence this far back. Not if there's like bombs that have not gone off in that field, we just walk through. How do I even know that? But yeah, interesting. Here we have another sign, another sign. Oh my gosh, this is so, so mad. Hey, we literally just went on Google and was like walks in Staffordshire. Never knew this place existed until now. It's mad. Never knew it existed. Who else has been to Fold Crater? There's not much to see really when you're just walking uh, around it. But when you get a drone up a little bit, have a little look. Another sign and public footpath sign. So, so slippy. Whoa! The fence is massive. Danger, keep out. So yeah, it is a bit of a drop. That is mad. Wow. You probably can't see it on the camera, but there is a massive drop, literally. Wow. Now we're approaching the memorial. Wow. That's really, really cool. Wow. Right, so I think it's time to get the drone out. Oh, 
Hi everyone, this is Debs. I'm so sorry I can't be on the walk today, but having seen the footage and Lucy's told me about how muddy it was, actually I'm secretly quite pleased I didn't bother to go. Well, it wasn't that I didn't bother to go, I had other things to do, like, you know, work. Anyway, she's asked me to talk to you a bit about the Folds Crater. So, this was the result of a huge explosion that happened on Monday the 27th of November, 1944, at 11 minutes past 11. Now, this used to be an RAF depot, because underneath this land, there were gypsum mines, okay? So they used to store ammunitions there. On that day, back in 1944, the whole lot exploded. And this was one of the largest explosions that was non-nuclear in the world. Because about three and a half to 4,000 tons of ordnance exploded. And this created this massive crater, which we now know as the Folds Crater, which is 30 meters deep by 230 meters across. It's pretty massive. I mean, it's all overgrown now with trees and everything, but you still can't walk in there because obviously there could still be unexploded bombs there, surrounded by a great big sort of fence. This crater is just east of Hanbury in Staffordshire. Anyway, there was loads and loads of damage at the time, including a reservoir nearby. And that reservoir, what is it, all exploded? it flooded the whole place. Also, there was a little farm in the area, you know, that was obliterated too. And sadly, about 70 people were killed. So the big question is, how on earth did this explosion occur and why? Well, at the time, no one was told, but it later emerged there were 189 prisoners of war working there, down in the mines. They were rather inexperienced, and a site worker was removing a detonator from a live bomb, and he was using a brass chisel rather than a wooden one, which caused a spark, which ultimately caused the massive explosion. It's a massive ditch, babe. It's a massive ditch. Babe, I'm so f stuck. I'm bleeding all over the place. I don't know. I'll just land it. That shit down. Yeah. How long? 20 seconds. 20, 20, 20 percent. 20? Yeah. No, no. Will it come down? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> that lump a lot. So literally just had the worst nightmare of my entire life. I have tears in my eyes, I'm so scared. I'm in pain. Basically, we sent the drone up into the air next to the memorial, got some great shots of the crater, and then couldn't get the drone back to where we took off because you can't go anywhere near that crater with the drone. It won't let you go anywhere near it. So we couldn't get it back and it was running out of battery. My partner had to like dive into the field and grab it before it landed in some mud. Worst nightmare of my life. And now we can't get through this either. And now we've come to some, some other obstacle we can't get past. Oh man, it's not our day today. It was all going so smoothly. Yeah. So yeah, it's not going well today. It was going so well. Um, yeah. The hands are all cut up, like madly cut up from this bush. Yeah. I thought you could get a drain back to where you took it off from, but obviously not. It was like, nope, it was getting locked. I couldn't even move it towards me. Nightmare. So just a, a warning for anyone that wants to fly a drone. You can't go over the crater. You can't go near the crater. And you're in like a near a, near a flight zone. So yeah, be careful of that. Um, we're walking back now. Yeah, okay. So just heading back to the car now. Quite a short video. Honestly, it was going fine until that happened. Oh, wow. 
I was not expecting the drain to do something like that. But yeah. So overall conclusions, very, very short walk, just over a mile long, very muddy. You can't see the crater with that drone and the drone won't go near the crater. And you're in a flight zone, near, near one, not in it, near one. So you could fly the drone, but yeah, just a warning for anyone that wants to come and film the crater go on a walk <sighs> but yeah so uh, if you enjoyed this video comment like share make sure to go and hit that subscribe button thanks for watching and i will see you guys soon bye not scared of you ian